Certainly true. Asa Solberg out of True Momentum will be our next athlete. We mentioned we have all five of the top five in the South Central point standings with us today. Asa Solberg was number five, hoping to not be in the top five. He needs to be in the top four to get into that Premier Series finals, and he is going to hopefully pop. There it is. Yeah, we love to see it. And we can see these ninjas really attacking the first half of this course. I think just trying to get to obstacle seven as quickly as possible. And one thing I'm loving to see out of Acer is this really calm approach to this course. He's moving with a great deal of pace, but he looks so calm in his approach. Yeah, in fact, I was a little bit worried that I haven't seen very much urgency out of him, but it could all be moot if he defeats this obstacle. Maybe that's his plan. Realizing that he has a strategy on this, he's going to go with the one-sided technique, changing it up to the wide grip. Lining up the grab. This is the one that counts. Kicking that back sidewinder, just an additional obstacle <laughs> in the way, but he makes the grab, and Asa Solberg will be our first buzzer of the team division with a sub-minute time. Asa moving through that course with a lot of calmness there. Didn't really seem to express too much urgency, but he didn't need it. He had full confidence that the course was going to be completed. Coming into that final grab on Obstacle 7, the one that has spelled disaster for so many of our ninjas here today, but he manages to secure it and make it look easy. Certainly true. Coming out of true momentum in the Dallas area. Fifth place in the South Central standings but also made it deep into stage two at the world championship, ended up finishing 11th in the strongest ninja division. Asa now lining up the mallet lache, uh, um, which caused him to slip. Okay, I think that kind of looked like a tactical reset. I don't think he got as good of a grip as he wanted there. No, it almost looked like there he resigned from it early on rather than slipping off. But Acer is going to keep going through this course. I do love it when they toss the ring behind them. Very, very uh, fun to watch. We'll see if he does it again here. He's actually going to reach <laughs> for it, and I was waiting for somebody to do that. We cannot tell you how you have to do an arm school in the World Ninja League. And he did that to perfection. Ended up reaching out, holding on to one of the rings, reaching with the other one. Almost made it more like a ring toss than a skyhook. Yeah, Asa Solberg is flying through this course so far. This is a great time. This is why he completed the placement course. And now gearing up for the grab. Went one hand over the some... other, but it worked. Yeah, just seeing such unique approaches here out of Asa Solberg. But this is the balance beam. This is deceptively difficult. Just looks like a few boxes, but they move. The young man they call Asa Spades. Certainly dealing this course a royal flush. I, I tried. I tried. It, it was excellent, Alex, as Asa Solberg now comes into the throwback. This is really the pointy end of the course. This distinguishes good ninjas from great ninjas. The mega throwback has taken out so many of our top competitors throughout the last two days. And now Asa Solberg is going to be taking on this obstacle. Only one athlete has defeated it, which means with three to go, he just has to beat this obstacle to get into that top four. Here's the throw. Makes it. Super clean, but it's not over just yet. Has to use that cliff to get off. He does. And now he is onto the cliffhanger. Did not beat Jackson's time, but the good news is he's in second place, and that secures him a spot at Ferox. It looks like he's going to go for the jump on the left, Alex. That's and where his might eyes as well, are. you have an extra shot, and he makes it. You can just see him having to fight on those cliff ledges. Oh, and he as slips the last a obstacle. hub right at the end. Still has a retry, though. Obstacle doesn't need reset, so the clock will begin immediately. He's got 20 seconds on the clock time. here. Can Acer pull out a miracle here as he gears up for the cliffhanger the second time? This time Gets he reaches out to the last ledge, just needs to find that small dismount. He does! Asa Solberg completes the entire challenge course. He's going to finish on the podium. He's going to get into the Premier Series Finals. 
and Ace not... of Spades with a tremendous run. That is our first buzzer of the team division on the challenge course. We're just seeing that mega throwback all around such a consistent run and still showing that he had some energy left in the tank there. Just all around cannot fault that run. Acer used his retries to his full advantage.